Hi, uh, this is the first time I've done a live video, so a little bit nervous, bear with me, my eyes might trail off places as I've got notes around me. <laughs> so my name is Sarah, um, and I'll be delivering a Holistic Health Talk Sunday, the 31st of May, um, at 10 o'clock, so uh, I hope you can wake up um, and be with me that day. So I'm really looking forward to being part of this whole wellness, um, I'm really passionate about well-being, and um, I love what casting rainbows have put on and uh, been part of that conversation with Marie at the beginning um, that has formed this amazing event. Um, it's fantastic that we're able to find, raise money for Rainbows Hospice for children and young people. Um, so the aim of my session on Sunday, um, that will be looking, when I say holistic, literally lots of different aspects of um, oneself and health. Um, I am struggling to kind of get it all in. <laughs> so hopefully I'll, um, as I start building the resources to make it engaging and visual for you guys, um, yeah, I will, will, you know, bring some really useful material. Um, and my aim is also to, to pose some really thought provoking questions and reflective questions, an opportunity for you to actually spend time thinking about your health and your perceptions of your own health and actually is there an opportunity to uh, maybe change something to improve um, your health and um, when I share my experience of various diets that I've tried um, and that's like when I say diet I don't mean um, I'm trying to lose weight or anything it's um, what food serves me what what helps me feel good feel healthy uh, and taste good you know let's not forget that our taste buds are absolutely loved um to to eat <laughs> no mind do so um it's it's what have i come to learn through through that what kind of things can i share with you that may help on your journey um so i've done things like the keto diet the fodmap um body ecology and most recently 30 days to healthy living um now um I'll be sharing kind of also my knowledge um during my master's on uh, the health and social care course I've done <clears throat> I've done a module on uh, type 2 diabetes found uh, some really interesting um material around kind of what messages uh, we are getting from our environment and and what what we need to listen to what what may be actually um not the best um information out there and so yeah, it can be a real big minefield. Um, so even though I'm not a professional, I'm not an absolute expert in this at all, I have uh, sought expert um, advice, such as um, I've had sessions with Lucy Kay, who you might have heard earlier today, uh, a fantastic nutritionist, I highly recommend her. Um, and I've had, I've been part of like kinesiology. Um, I, I currently have chiropractic care. Um, and I've been um, in discussions um, led by uh, Praxis Probiotics and I also buy their amazing stuff too. So, um, yeah, there's lots that I hope, you know, really juicy things that I hope um, I'll be able to share with you. And hi, Marie, thanks for the wave. <laughs> you can probably tell I'm nervous as I'm rattling through this. Um, I have used diet to uh, almost like a treatment but um I, I've, I've struggled with a lot of symptoms of various things and I'm I'm going to be really exposing uh what my struggles have been health-wise um in the session on Sunday and kind of saying like, what what have I experienced and what have I managed to overcome just through diet rather than any of the medication that you know wasn't working or I didn't even bother going there in the end um so hopefully you'll go on a journey with me um, on Sunday and you'll have the opportunity to, like I say, think for you, think about your health, have that opportunity to think about your own health um, and feel motivated and empowered with some of the suggestions or resources that I share um, and, and those questions that I pose maybe will get you thinking differently about your own health and what you could do to change it. Um, what I'm not suggesting, I'm not going to be pushing any particular diet at all. Um, I'm a big believer in a personalised diet that fits you and your health needs and your lifestyle. So what is sustainable for you um, and what's sustainable environmentally is something we might touch on as well. Um, and how we can listen to our bodies and, and, and what 
what do our bodies tell us in terms of um, what's working, what's not working. This may challenge some of your perceptions of what's healthy, what's not healthy and and maybe some things that you've been doing historically. Um, but yeah, predominantly it, it's kind of an opportunity um, f for me to share for you to get something valuable from it. And so I really hope you can join. I'll leave it there. Thank you ever so much. Um, we look forward to um, you joining me and maybe we could taste the rainbow. I like what Marie <laughs> said, reminding me about that. Um, I was hoping to make a smoothie because I've been uh, really into my smoothies ever since doing the 30 days healthy living. Um, so yeah, if if by all of it, I, I can get that in still, I will because do absolutely love them and I have got things prepared for it so yeah I, I probably will do that so for now thank you uh for joining me um and if you haven't been able to join me live that's actually fine thanks for listening back and finding out what I'll be up to on Sunday and now you can make an informed decision whether you want to join me okay thank you bye